recently who live well outside of Florida have asked me about alligators, as in wild alligators. Like, is it really a thing that we have alligators in Florida that just roam around and are wild? And the answer is yes, totally, it's a thing. We have around a million and a quarter alligators in the wild in Florida. Um, so it is, I think, interesting from time to time, we'll see these stories on the news where kind of funny, like a lady will have an alligator, you know, 10 foot long alligator, she found it in her kitchen, um, or someone's poodle gets eaten. Uh, these are, you know, in entertaining stories, but the reality uh, is that you know, an unprovoked alligator attack is really, really rare. So something like, uh, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, it's about one in 3.1 million. So obviously it's pretty rare, uh, but you would probably see an alligator if you were out, especially in their natural habitat. So the FWC offers some resources for residents, which I'm gonna share with you, because even though it's probably not likely that you're gonna run into an alligator, especially if you're in you know, the coastal areas where I am in Boca Raton, no alligators uh, in my neighborhood. But if you happen to see one, you should probably know a couple of things, keep them in mind. So. The first thing is you wanna be aware of the possibility of seeing an alligator in particular areas. So if you're in fresh water or brackish water, so little tutorial here, we've got fresh water is like lakes, streams, things of that nature. Brackish is partly salty, partly fresh. And then you go all the way over to full salt water. That would be like the ocean. You're not gonna see an alligator in the ocean not in the intracoastal, but as you work west toward the Everglades, it is increasingly probable that you could run into an alligator. So if you are in one of these areas, you don't wanna swim outside of posted okay to swim areas. So some, you know, there are protections in place. Um, you want to keep in mind that alligators are most active between dusk and dawn. So if you're in the Everglades swimming at night, probably a very, very bad idea. Uh, alligators are nocturnal creatures and that's when they hunt. So um, you should also keep in mind that dogs and cats are, you know, particularly small dogs, are similar in size to the alligator's natural prey. So if you happen to be out for a walk, there are some beautiful walking trails in Boca Raton um, and throughout Southeast Florida where there are natural uh, freshwater areas and you don't want to let your dog drink from these areas or take a quick swim or play too close to the shoreline uh, they really do look like they're alligators natural prey and that is more likely than you as a person being attacked is that your dog would be eaten um, you want to leave alligators alone so let's say you're out in, in their natural habitat kind of area you see one most likely it's going to be basking along a shoreline if it's daytime they like the sunlight and they look just kind of like a log. But don't be fooled because they can move really, really fast. So you don't wanna provoke an alligator or poke it or try to get it to respond to you. You also don't wanna feed alligators. So the FWC really cautions people against feeding alligators, although that might sound like kind of a really entertaining, fun thing. Uh, it then lessens their uh, hesitancy to be around people. And so they associate people with food. That would be bad uh, for all of us. Um, you also don't want to dispose of fish scraps into the water if you're in one of these freshwater areas. Why? Well, the alligator associates that in the same way that they would associate being fed by humans. Not a good idea. And finally, if you do have an incident involving an alligator, you would want to seek medical attention immediately. Um, any sort of uh, a bite from an alligator could really result in a very, very serious infection. So. These are some things to keep in mind when you're in and around South Florida. Um, we do have some fun areas where you can go and see an alligator on purpose. Uh, you can have an Everglade boat tour ride, see small alligators, large alligators out in the wild in, in, a, uh, in a natural habitat, which is a lot of fun. So hope this has been helpful and informative. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching my show. If you like what you saw, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And hit that like button, it would mean a lot to me personally. If there's something specific you'd like to see, leave a note down in the comments for me. I'd be really interested to know what you think. If you'd like to see more, take a look at some of these other videos. See you next time.